<sighs> Good morning. We are walking Thor. Yo, it's cold. <sighs> oh, y'all can't see it. <sighs> nope. <laughs> she just got up, so you ain't gonna see me. But look at the sun. We do a short little walk in the mornings. Usually it's still dark because we're getting up ready for school. But um, it is, what is today? Today is Saturday. Oh, y'all. We're going to go meet my bestie and her daughter. We're going to take some Christmas pictures. My son and daughter-in-law are out of town for the day. It is Canton weekend, but... Oh, sorry. But, uh, yeah, we're not going to go this weekend. We went last time, and the things we were looking for weren't there. And there's nothing there that I want for Christmas, so we'll go. <sighs> we'll probably take a couple months off. Thor is, do you see him? See, okay, right there. Hold on, hold on. He's not out. Hold on. Oh, let me get a good grip on him. His buddy is over there, so there's a, uh, come on. We'll go down here and see. These people are home, Thor. He found something. Does your dog find things to lick? Come on, walk. <laughs> he has a friend. He has a little dog friend right there. It's the cutest little black lab. Well, he's not little anymore. He grew. And so he always goes over and says hello. So he's always waiting here to see if he comes out. They have the uh, patio all, like, covered. But he can still get out. But Good morning. I'm making me a pour over this morning. Here's my new Christmas mug. If y'all follow me on Instagram. There we go. If you follow me on Instagram, y'all seen it already. It's from uh, Pier One. I actually thrifted a pair of them. And this is my pour over. I have some espresso and some white chocolate mocha coffee from um, Aldi's. And then look, you put everything in the bottle. Oh, it makes coffee taste better. So I have some peppermint white mocha creamer and some peppermint chocolate syrup. And over here, I've got my coffee going. Y'all let this be wiped off. Oh, we're ready. Okay, so let's do this. And because I don't have a tea kettle, y'all, <laughs> I just do this with a ladle, y'all. I know she needs a tea kettle, but... Y'all hear my air fryer? I'm fixing to put some sausage in there this morning, too. I caught... I'll show you. I need the bigger filters, so I'll only fill it up to the top. Otherwise, it goes up and gets in there. So, let me show y'all. See it? See? Look. Look how it comes to the top. These right here? Oh, they're upside down. maple flavored. I don't do a lot of sausage, but I'm going to go ahead and cook these in my air fryer. Uh, these were only 99 cents. So I got two packages of these and one packages of, one packages, one package of the links. So let me put these in my air fryer. There we go. Here we go. So I don't know how long I've never cooked them in here before, but I've seen everybody's cooking everything. And I just have it on 400. I think I'm going to put it down a little bit in maybe about 10 minutes. So we'll come back and see what that's like. I think my coffee's ready. Ooh, up to the top, y'all. And then, those grounds are still good because I use a lot. So then I'm going to make me a second cup. So when I drink this one, I have a second cup of coffee. Y'all smell so good when you pour that water in there. Mm -hmm. And I'll let it set too long. If I pull this off, then that uh, Cool Whip is actually still there. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, but there we go. I'm going to go do some Christmas shopping today. I'm going to go through and sort and clean out some stuff. Start packing stuff. So here's Santa Claus. Alright, I'm going to just wait on the sausage. There we go, here's the sausage. And here is my plate this morning. So for Weight Watchers, it is seven points. I've got some scrambled eggs with some fat-free cheese. The two sausage patties are seven points. And then I have a mandarin, so, and then my coffee. So I think it's a point for the creamer because it wasn't sugar-free. So eight points right here. So, and I may or may not eat something for lunch. So I'm gonna drain these on a paper towel here and then I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy my breakfast. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, 
Hey, Tammy here. Welcome back to Faith Family Fashion. Oh, y'all, I should have turned the camera on, but I didn't. I just did some frugal nista style free finding, y'all. And I have a car full of stuff. I could have got more if I'd had somebody there to help me. But y'all, I got a ton of stuff. Oh my gosh. I went behind a store. I was driving behind stores, which I do randomly. I uh, Something I, I haven't shared, but just watching the frugal nista, watching mom the eBay, or seeing how much stuff is thrown out that is going to the trash to the dumpsters is unbelievable and I'm like so I drive behind stores randomly look and see if there's anything in there so I did find a whole bunch of stuff a couple of times that I never shared um, I found dog beds and quilt sets lamps I have two lamps in my living room which are from the trash they cut the cords my dad fixed them I take that back I found five lamps five floor lamps real tall one is in Nick's room, two are in my living room, and two are at my parents' room, my parents' house. Super nice. They were selling them for over $100, okay? Awesome, right? Haven't shared this with you. I don't know why. It's just because I don't find anything consistently to have it as a, uh, oh, and uh, Diving with Purpose. I watch her too. She finds a lot of stuff. She's down in South Texas. I never find anything lately. I just never do. The majority of the stores in my area, I'm hot, y'all. The majority of the stores in my area are um, compactors. This store has a compactor, but I just randomly, and honest, honestly, what I was looking for is, you guys know, I've been telling you that we're going to be moving. I was going behind stores looking for boxes and bubble wrap because my Walmart does not have any bubble wrap. They haven't had it for a while now. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go because I know from looking previously, I would see bags of bubble wrap. So I'm like, let me go see if I can find some bubble wrap and some more boxes. I found a ton of boxes. I took those home uh, a while ago, not today, but another day. And I'm like, okay, I got the boxes. Now let me look for bubble wrap. And while I was sitting there, there is a new Ulta that opened up in this area. And I see these people go to Ulta, and it seems like they destroy all their makeup, so you can't really get anything. And I'm like, well, let me see. Let me just look and see, right? Well, next to Ulta was another store. And uh, I watched, and I heard thunk while I'm sitting there, and it scared me. And I'm like, oh, crap, somebody's beating on my car telling me to go something. What? No, this is one of them. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Okay, so I... uh I look, and it's a store. They have a compactor, y'all, but they were taking stuff to the dumpster. They have to, it smells like spray paint. They have to uh, spray paint it. And there was a couple other things I could have gotten in there, but I couldn't really tell what it was. It looked like um, comforters, like the, the down comforters, but they were strips. So I don't know, I, I didn't understand. I, didn't, I don't know what those were. So I didn't get those, but I got everything I could reach. This big thing right here, I have to look at because I seen it and I wanted to get it. Obviously, it's Christmas decorations and I couldn't reach it and I finally was able to reach it, y'all. And I'm so excited. Y'all, I am so excited. I am so excited to see everything that I got and I'm going to share it with you when I get home. So, let me get home and get this unloaded and I'm going to share this with you guys. This is stuff now, since they were throwing it in the dumpster and not the compactor, could they have been throwing it in there for themselves to come back and get? I don't know. But what I did was I went into the store. So I watched them, and they carried a load out in a big buggy. And uh, then they went back. There was three of them. They went back into the store, and they left the door open. I'm like, well, you know, the door's still open. So they, they had to have seen me. I'm sure they've seen me. They're like, okay. You know, we're going to watch and see if she tries to come over here or they had more stuff to go get or something. So, I went into the store, walked around for a while, seeing if there's anything I want. Gave myself a good 15 minutes, drove back around. There was nobody there. The door was shut. So, y'all, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to see everything that I got. I got a couple of bags. They look like return items. Um, and I don't know. This looks perfect right here. I'm excited. So, um... Yeah, <laughs> we're going to go home and we're going to see what we 
got. Okay, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, y'all, this, none of this recorded. I don't know why. So let me share this with you. So one of the other things that I found was this 30-inch wood ledge. Y'all, it's got some spray paint on it. Okay, but um, we can paint over that. That's no problem. So this is perfect because Nick collects the Funko Pops. And we're going to buy some of these for when we move so he can display them. So we found that. Then we have this bathroom rug. It does have spray paint on it. They do spray paint things to try to destroy it. This stuff is from Bed Bath & Beyond. So this was originally $19.99. They marked it down to $7.99. And then they spray painted it and threw it in the dumpster. Now the back side has not been sprayed. So I know there's a way to get spray paint out of things. Um, I know I see the frugal Nista say all the time that she can get this stuff out. So I'm going to research it. If you guys know how to get spray paint out, if you will let me know. If not, anything that's destroyed with spray paint, I can use it for the dogs and the dog cages, dog beds, different things like that. So there's that. Y'all look at this. This is a complete eight piece king comforter set. Now it does have some spray paint inside on the bedding. Again, I don't know if I can get that out or not. I'm going to see if I can. I really hate that they did that because I really don't understand why. I mean, it doesn't look like this comes with a throw and a sheet set. This is on the outside. So these two, at least I know, are fine. So if anything, those are salvageable out of it. Um, let's see what else did we get. Oh, y'all, I'm so sorry. Oh, she's tired. Okay, look at this, y'all. I know this is sideways. But this is a step ramp for dogs, which you guys know Thor has some broken bones in his back. And eventually one day it's going to be difficult for him to get up and down. And he's really not supposed to be jumping anyway. So... Hopefully all the pieces are there and nothing is broken on this because that'll be really really cool I'll probably box it up tape it up and save it for when we move um, Let's see over here This is I don't know what this is. It is some sort of funnel something I don't know if it went with something. It looks like it slides down, but they spray painted it. So I don't know what that is This is a curtain um, It's by Madison Park it's one window panel. It's what, 56 by 95, but they did spray paint inside here. So I, like I said, if I can figure out how to get that out, that'll be perfect because I have a lot of gray stuff. Um, you know, if not, I'll, I don't know. Uh, but there is also this, this is Salt Smart Affordable Life Tools. It's a three tier pole caddy that goes in your bathroom. So, I thought that was really cool. Um, inside this bag, I just picked this bag up. I seen it. And I picked it up. There is candy in here, y'all. There is Butterfingers. There's a whole bunch of them. Now, they only, they're not opened. They only spray painted the outside. I'm actually not a Butterfinger fan. But, you think Butterfinger? Nick likes Butterfinger. So, yeah, I mean, there's nothing like this one. There's nothing wrong with it. There's not even any spray paint. Now, there is this. I don't know who would return this. <laughs> But they did spray paint it. I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe use it to clean with. Maybe wash a car. I don't know. But, um, I mean, that got returned. So, I think that is it, y'all. That is it for my free finds. Okay, y'all, this is the last thing. Y'all, look at this. This is a six-piece pre-lit holiday set. And there is a note up here. And it says, the tree base cracked. Okay. So there's two of them. So I don't know if both tree bases cracked or not, but I, I could put you in a different base. Look at that, y'all. Oh, look at that. Now, there is some spray paint on here. It's red, though. I mean, so it kind of goes with the season. So I don't even know how much this was sold for. It doesn't even say, does it? No. But it would have been 18-inch pre-lit wreath. Battery operated, 12 inch wreath hanger, six foot pre lit garland, it plugs in, and a four foot tall pre lit uh, trees that plug in. Look at that. In the dumpster, they were throwing it away. So, like I said, I don't know what works, what does it. I don't know how to remove paint. If y'all do, let me know. But I thought this was really cool and I had to share it with you. So, that is my uh, free find for the day. Um, you guys seen, I just filmed this. Uh, sorry. So, this I'm really excited about. 
I really hope everything in there works. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. So yeah, you know, if you're driving around, go take a peek in the dumpsters behind your favorite stores and see if they're throwing away anything. And again, if y'all know how to get spray paint out of fabric, y'all let me know. Y'all remember to stop and thank God for today because it truly is a gift. I will see you guys really soon.